Hey guys, my name is Sudipto and welcome back to another episode of Pseudo Square. And today in this video, we will be taking a closer look at the Android 9 or Oxygen OS 9 on the OnePlus 6. So if you already own the OnePlus 6, right up front, a couple of major changes that you're going to see is that there is a major overhaul in the UI. It looks completely different, it's redesigned, and it looks pretty good in my opinion. So with that being said, let's quickly dive in and figure out what you all get with the new Android 9.0 update on your OnePlus 6. So now taking a closer look, what you're seeing right now is a OnePlus 6 running on Oxygen OS 9 based on Android Pie. And if you already own the OnePlus 6, you will immediately notice a lot of changes visually and also a lot more changes in terms of performance. The phone overall just feels much more refined and smooth and really very, very snappy and responsive. Now, I've always been advocating for iOS being the strongest contender in terms of Android versus iOS, but with this, it seems like Android is finally bridging the gap and catching up with iOS in terms of performance and is definitely getting to the point of optimization where it feels a lot more responsive to every single action. So first of all, let's begin with the visual changes. Right up front, if you just start by dropping down the notification tray, you will see these new rounded icons which looks a lot more elegant visually and also has this minimal-esque design which flows along the entire theme from the phone dialer to the settings tab everything looks very clean, refreshed and well-rounded. There's a new volume control layout much like what you will find in the Google Pixel 2, a new settings layout less cluttered and more organized and even there is a new android pie gesture navigation system which only has a home and back button to work with so all you got to do is just tap on the home button to jump to your home screen from wherever you are and probably you know that but also you can just hold on to it and slide it upwards to reveal the multitasking tray which now features the android pie card style design however you can also just hold down on this home button and drag it sideways to directly scroll between all the apps running in the background and it's kinda cool, more so fast and easy way to quickly multitask and switch between applications but honestly after a few days of using it, I just wanted to go back to the previous OnePlus gesture navigation system. Not saying that it's bad, I might be just used to the old one but this setup just didn't felt right in terms of the natural flow of my hands and to the point where I never really got comfortable with it so I just ended up switching to the previous one. And also as a part of the Android Pie update, you also get the new adaptive battery support which essentially limits the battery usage of your infrequently used apps and your phone kinda just learns how to manage the apps over time. And honestly, it's just too early for me to actually comment on this. So I will just reserve my judgments on this for now. And I will keep you guys posted on my Instagram, the links to which you can find in the description. And of course, if you haven't checked out my Instagram yet, then I mean, you guys are missing out on a lot of stuff. I post a lot of behind the scenes over there. So it is going to be the first link in the description. Do make sure to go ahead and check out my Instagram. It's at the rate hey sudo. You can just figure me out over there and I promise you it'll be worthwhile. Now back to the Oxygen OS 9. So there is a new gaming mode which allows you to block third party calls while you are gaming. Now what does that mean and why would you even want to block some calls? So let's just say that you are getting a call on WhatsApp or Facebook right at the point where you are about to get that chicken dinner. This ensures that the call just stays there as a notification and does not ruin your perfect headshot. There is also a new added quick pay option which allows you to long press on the fingerprint scanner to quickly bring up your mobile wallet of choice and I actually quite like the fact that it gives you the option to choose unlike Apple or Samsung. Currently I'm only using Paytm so that's what you see over here and also there is a new lockdown feature in your lock screen and you can access it by holding down to the power button so when you turn it on it basically disables all of your biometrics or any smart device logins that you might be using to bypass the security screen. And it just essentially limits it down to the password or pin 
whatever you have enabled on your phone. So guys, that was it for this video. I really hope that you guys enjoyed. If you did, do make sure to give this video a huge thumbs up. It really means a lot to me and also motivates me to make more such videos. And also, do let me know your favorite feature of the Android 9.0 Pi in the comment section down below. And with that being said, I'll leave for my class and I'll see you guys in the next one. Ta-da!